Hi, I'm Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. But that's not why I'm here today. I'm here to help you save some money. Actually, I'm here to do a product review, and that's on this product, Photo Explosion Deluxe, which you can find at most office supply stores, Best Buy, I think places like Target, that kind of uh, deal too. This particular product sells for $49.95, which is a little bit pricey, but it has a $20 rebate, so it goes from $50 bucks to $30, bucks, which is much more reasonable. But let's see if this product actually is worth the money. And by the way, the one thing it does come with that's very neat, it comes with a manual, an actual real manual. So that's kind of interesting. So let's look at the product. Here we are in one of the many programs that comes with Photo Explosion Deluxe. What Nova Development does is they buy licenses from other companies so they can use those companies software. And sometimes it might be an earlier version or a little bit older, uh, but it typically works okay. So here's one of those products, ULEADS Photo Explorer 8.6, and it's a typical organizer type program, not as sophisticated as some of the newer ones, but it has some features. So for instance, you can bring up a little editor and edit directly within the organizer. As an example, I'm going to go to Hue, and I'll bring down the saturation and turn this into like a black and white picture. So there you go, just to give you an example. There's other programs here too. One is called Memories on TV. This is a program that turns your uh, pictures into a slideshow that you can burn onto a CD or onto a DVD. However, I think if you want to burn it onto a DVD, you have to pay for some additional licensing fees. We then have a program called Montage Plus by Serif. Uh, Montage Plus is a mosaic program, so if I had a picture here of a face, for instance, I could create that face out of thousands of other little pictures of either my choice or those supplied by the program itself. More of a novelty, I would say, but it's free and you might find some fun with it. Uh, we also have a program called Send Photos, which is pretty nice. What Send Photos does is it takes your photos, compresses them, and then puts them on a theme. So here we have Neil Armstrong on a traveling theme, or we could put him on a beach theme, or we could put him on a, uh, another traveling type of theme. And then we can easily send these up to the internet for storage, uh, and we could view them there, or we could send them via email. So it's kind of a nice little program that might add a little zest to your emails. We also have a program called Panorama Maker, and what Panorama Maker does is it makes panorama, so it allows you to stitch several photographs together in a, kind of a seamless way, and this one is by ArcSoft. So the other thing they include are a lot of very kind of nice images, I think thousands of them. So here is an example of just some of the images that you get with the program. And you might find some of these as nice backgrounds, or you could use them in other ways, too. So you get those for free, and why not use them? They're about one megapixel size images, so you could probably size them up for a lot of different things. So we have that, too. But the program that you'll use the most is this one here, which is Photo Explosion, which is a rebranding of another ULEAD product. And this has its own browser in it which uh, has some limited utility, lets you sort through some pictures and to do some very simple batch conversion and things, nothing too much, but it also comes with this editor. Now when this editor came out it was state-of-the-art because it was very easy to use. Newer editors, which are more complicated, are a lot more sophisticated, but you can still find a lot of utility with this one. And I'm going to show you how to do something with this picture. This is a, a carillon or a bell tower, and you can see I took it on a crooked angle, which was not so good. And we also have this distracting element here, this light pole. So let's see what we can do to kind of correct it and make it a little nicer. So first we're going to go to Adjust. And we're going to go to Crop. There is a straightening tool in this program, but I don't think the tool works particularly well. And then we're going to just rotate our crop so we're kind of kind of parallel with that pole to tell us what's straight. And then we're going to expand it. And we have to wait for it to figure that out each time. Expand it there. And then we're going to try to move it up just a little bit like that. So if we apply, it should crop it and turn it, and now our carillon is straight. Now we want to get rid of this light pole here so we can use another tool, a cloning tool, which you're not going to find in your bargain basement editor. 
and we're just going to select it on this picture here which is the same picture we're also going to make it a little softer and a little bit bigger and we can just kind of paint it out so you know I'm just kind of painting it out I'm getting the sky in there just getting rid of that light pole so it was never there and again not too difficult pretty simple go back down here and there it's gone no more light pole. Get rid of that too a little bit there too. So we'll say okay and now that's gone. Now I want to enhance this picture a bit and I'm going to use the Smart Enhance feature. Sometimes I find that these work very well, sometimes not so well. So you can always do a lot of these things somewhat manually but I'm going to use the Auto Adjust, the Brightness and the Contrast and also the Color Enhancer which is kind of a slow tool and we have to wait for that to kind of do its thing but it's going to kind of make the colors pop a little bit more and boom that's done so this looks a little bit better now well I'm not done yet because I think I want to make that sky a little more dramatic and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the sky out and I can use that using a selection tool and there's a variety of different selection tools I'm going to select by color and I'm going to pick, the, pick a very soft uh, brush and I'm just going to drag this like this down here and that's going to select that part and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to say add to the selection you can pick that there and I'm going to drag this blue part here and down there and it should pick that part and now I have the blue part selected a little clouds too but I don't really care about that and I'm going to go to decorate no actually I'm going to go to effects photographic and I'm going to pick this gradient filter here and I already have a gradient filter that's selected going from a dark blue to almost like a purple so I'm just going to say OK and that should fill the sky as it did here Now I could have made other adjustments but that looks just fine now at this point I would have to save this photo to do the next steps of this photo um, but I actually have a save version here so I'm just going to switch to that one and that one has all the layers together and with this particular one I'm going to show you that you can add some of these really cool I'm going to close that there. Some really cool options. So, for instance, if I wanted to pick a frame, I could pick a frame for it. As, you know, and I could send this then to someone and say, "Hey, look at my thing," or I can hang this on the refrigerator. Or, there's a lot of different frames that I can choose from, all different styles. And this is a really a nice feature with this program. It's kind of a cool one, I think. Kind of gives it that that kind of glass look. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go. And we go through that and we're going to try an edge effect and so for an edge effect we can pick different edges and here's an edge and there's many different edges but I kind of like one that's over here I think this is it kind of cool looking gives it a kind of a space age look and I could just close this and now I have this edge effect so you can see that although this is a pretty simple program that certainly doesn't have all the tools that you're going to get from a, a more sophisticated program like Photoshop Elements or Paint Shop Pro or Paint Plus or any of those really cool programs those programs are complicated and as sophisticated as they are and as uh, they've really worked to make those simple to use it's still there's still quite a learning curve uh, any person can come into this program and do these really cool things and you might even want to use this as an accessory to a more sophisticated program because there's so much extra content that's available it's also for the family who's interested in doing a lot of projects with their photos a lot of fun stuff from invitations to calendars to picture frames and that sort of thing I think you get a lot of value as far as all that little extra but if you really look at this program seriously it's more frosting than cake, but sometimes a little frosting is kind of fun.